Hello, my name is Andy Nortrup. I'm a director of product management here at Tanium. And today I'd like to tell you about what we can accomplish when we combine Tanium Connect and Cribble Logstream. Cribble Logstream is a great tool for taking data out of a system like Connect, transforming it, filtering it, and routing it to the right destination so that you can use it in all of the destinations and all of the places and ways that you need to do it. I'm gonna walk you through very quickly the uh, an example of what I've done here, uh, just to show you a little bit of what we can do. So here on the left, you'll see my Tanium Connect console. Uh, this is a very basic connection using just the Tanium data service saved question and a TCP socket receiver. This is basic connect. This is out of the box. You can use it right now. You don't need to upgrade because it's been here forever. Over here on the right, you'll see the Cribble Logstream sources list. Included in there, you'll just see that I have a Tanium source set up, and this is just TCP data coming in. Nothing fancy here. Uh, after that, you can see they have a lot of destinations included in Cribble Logstream, some of which we don't have out of the box in Connect. As much as I'd love to keep up with every new destination, it can be really challenging sometimes. Uh, but there's some great options here. Uh, for all of the major cloud vendors, uh, Amazon in multiple flavors or Azure in multiple flavors or Google Cloud are where you're trying to go with your data. There's some, uh, they're included here. And looking at just what's configured out of right now in this instance, I have a Splunk single instance uh, environment running on my local machine and an Azure blob store that I'm going to dump some data into both of them using one connection run. Now this is great if you're running connect because it allows you to take the same data and put it into multiple systems at the same time, ensuring that they remain consistent every, sing uh, every single time. You don't have to try and run them twice to make sure that you get the same data. You just get a nice, clean, uh, uniform set of data. All right, now if I go up to routes here, uh, I can see that I have two routes configured. Um, and on those routes, uh, I'm just going to say, hey, uh, this is coming from the main pipeline and it's going out to Azure. And it's also coming on the main pipeline and going out to Splunk. And if I look at this pipeline, it's taking data in. It's going to add a couple of fields to the overall document and then uh, send it out to the destination. So super simple source processing destination. Uh, if I come over here to monitoring, uh, you can we can watch this happen live. I'm going to say run over here and connect. We're going to let it run. Let's be very quick. Ta-da, it's done. And we should see that show up over here in Cribble. Ta-da, so we see our one, one record in and two events out and bytes in and bytes out. Now if we flip over to the Azure console and we refresh, we now see Tanium Cribble and that is my JSON file with the Tanium data in it. And I can also see that it just showed up here in Splunk with the um, data. And you see that the source type is set. And there we go. One source, uh, two destinations, a single run of connect. And we were able to modify the events as they pass through Cribble. Thank you very much. Uh, looking forward to seeing what you do.